Hi children, today we study analytical chemistry. This is actually a completely practical based chapter. Analysis means to study or examine something carefully in a methodical way. In chemistry, analysis is a systematic procedure which helps us to deter, detect the presence of elements present in an organic compound or ions in an ionic compound and to determine the quantity of substances present in a mixture or in a compound. Thus we can say that there are two types of analysis. The first one we detect. Detect means to identify to identify the presence of elements present in an organic compound. We will identify which, which elements are present in an organic compound or ions in an ionic compound because ionic compounds are made up of positively and negatively charged ions. So the constituent particles are ions. So we will identify the ions present in an ionic compound. And this we call it as qualitative analysis. qualitative analysis and the second one we determine we determine means we measure or calculate the quantity of substances present in a mixture quantity means it can be the measurement of mass or volume okay etc present in a mixture or in a compound the second one we call it as quantitative analysis quantitative analysis this year we don't study quantitative analysis. We will study only qualitative analysis. To carry out qualitative analysis we have to do chemical test. For doing chemical test we need reagents. Reagents. Reagents are chemical substances which when react with other substances gives characteristic changes or we we'll say visible changes. So here we are taking two reagents, both are alkalis. Both are alkalis. By using these two alkali, the first one is a strong alkali and second one is a weak alkali. Using these two alkalis, we will analyze the salts. Salts are ionic compounds made up of a positively charged ion called as cation. And a negatively charged ion called as anion. Or we say that the positively charged ion we call it as the metallic ion and the negatively charged ion we call it as non-metallic ion. Or we say that this is the basic radical or this is the acid radical. So in this chapter, we don't detect the presence of or we don't identify anion, we will identify cation. So for doing analysis, we have already said that we have to perform the chemical test. Okay, when you enter in the chemistry lab and when you are provided with a salt, we are analyzing salt only. When you are provided with a salt, the first thing which you have to do is you have to observe its physical appearance. Physical appearance means how it looks like. We'll say the color of the salt or the nature of the salt. That means 
whether it is crystalline or amorphous or it is deliquescent or what is the physical state of it like whether it is a solid liquid or gas obviously you are knowing that salts are solid solely so the main physical property that means the main main physical appearance is color of the salt so today i will make you familiar with the color so these are the colorless cations that means their salts looks white and crystalline and these are the colored cations do you like to see this see this salts okay today i will make you familiarize with all the uh, salts that means their physical appearance that means what is their color and what is their nature it is okay so i have placed it here all the salts which are uh, colorless or we will say that they are white and crystalline in nature white crystalline salts all these salts that means lead potassium sodium magnesium zinc calcium and ammonium salts okay so this is uh, lead salt pb2 plus ions are there white and crystalline okay i'll keep it here and you will see everything together it is okay next is potassium salt i have taken potassium iodide potassium ions are there in this taking out into an so this is potassium salt Again, it is white crystalline, white crystalline salt. This is uh, sodium salt, sodium nitrate we have taken. Okay, so this is the sodium salt we are keeping it here. Okay, next is the magnesium salt. That is magnesium sulfate has taken. Magnesium sulfate has taken. next is our zinc salt zinc sulfate is taken zinc sulfate zinc sulfate is it and two plus ions are there okay zinc salt again the calcium salt this is calcium nitrate calcium nitrate it is white crystals are there and the last one it is ammonium salt nh4 plus ion is there ammonium ion is there this is the ammonium salt ammonium chloride we have taken so now all the salts are here you can see that each one and its color salts we have taken and all are white in color so colored salts these are the colored salts these are the three main salts which we have to study ferrous ferric and cupric let us see what is the color of this this is uh, uh, copper sulfate copper sulfate and i'll show you the inside part it is so this is the color of the copper salt you can see a bright blue color is there this this is cupric salt blue crystalline salt it is blue crystalline salt okay cupric salt is kept here and then this is the uh, iron 2 it is written that means it is ferrous ferrous salts ferrous sulfate is taken inside see the pale green color of the ferrous salt there is salt i'll take it out if it is cupric ion is there it is blue it is blue in color and this is pale green in color pale green in color okay the last one is uh, the ferric salt you know that it is deliquescent substance so it will absorb the uh, moisture that is why in the outside the cover and all it is some liquid okay i can take it out it is okay, this is yellowish brown in color so now you can see the difference between different salts these two are the iron salts one is ferrous fe2 plus is there and fe3 plus is there there is a difference in the color of the salt 
So today, children, we have seen all the salts and their physical appearance. So you have seen the different colored salts and colorless salts. And the next class, we will see the chemical test. So how we can detect the cations.